Assalamu alaikum. There is no human work prior to modern times that contains statements which were equally in advance of the state of knowledge at the time they appeared and which might be compared to the Quran. There is perhaps no better illustration of the close links between Islam and science than the Prophet's hadith, seek after signs even in China, which is a veritable invitation to man to enrich his knowledge. This was the video of Dr. Maurice Bukhel. He was a very famous surgeon and scientist who was given the French Academy Award in Medicine. He was selected for doing research on the mummy of Manapta, which is the body of Pharaoh who was there at the time of Moses peace be upon him, which is mentioned in the Bible and the Quran. He being a Christian was aware of the background mentioned of Moses peace be upon him in the Bible. He was aware that Pharaoh at the time of Moses peace be upon him was drowned while following Moses peace be upon him. But when he went to Saudi Arabia, there he learned from the Muslims that the Quran already mentions this in Surah Yunus chapter 10 verse 92. Allah says, We shall save the body of the Pharaoh as a sign for humankind. Since the Bible doesn't mention anything about what happened to the body of the Pharaoh after he drowned, but Dr. Maurice Bukhel was shocked that how does the Quran 1400 years back says that Almighty God will save the body of Pharaoh as the sign for humankind. This instigated him to read the Quran and after he read, he was so much inspired that he accepted Islam. He says that the scientific facts mentioned in the Quran are in perfect conformity with modern science. But when it comes to Bible, there are hundreds of scientific mistakes. And then Dr. Maurice Bukhel writes a book called the Bible, the Quran, and the signs, which you all can read.